Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? Ryan the Mighty Quinn here, the cornerman underscore MMA UFC London this weekend. Really looking forward to this card. Um, I was on Betting Bananas last night just talking about all the pesky fighters we got. Really going to shape up to be a great fight night, as the fight cards in UFC London usually are. And I love that they are on in, in the middle of the day. Um, you know, return of Tom Aspinall. I'm a huge fan of him. I plan on doing a piece on him after this card. Um, a lot of good stuff. But the one fight that I am cinching in on is Ketlin Vieira versus Penny Kianzad. Now, a uh, lot to look for here, a lot to break down. Uh, I know this is uh, going to shoot one of these ladies in the right direction. Uh, I know there's been some suspect on uh, Ketlin's past performances. I still believe that she has a bright future ahead of her. And uh, this could be Penny's coming out party. She's got a lot of tools to break that down. Um, so let's get into it. Um, Overall striking, I am giving to Penny Kanzat. I love the way she boxes. I love the way she works her feet. I love the way she keeps it in her, her wheelhouse as far as boxing. And then uh, I'm going to go overall wrestling, quote-unquote, throws. Ketlin. Ketlin's got the judo black belt, extremely strong. She can muscle you against the fence if need be, which is what she usually does. Um, and the same thing with jiu-jitsu. I'm going to stick with Ketlin on that as well. Um, this, the judo translates really well, and I know she's trained that in her gyms and stuff like that. So, all right. Why don't we start with Ketlin? Uh, how does Ketlin win this fight? She needs to be first, plain and simple. She absolutely needs to be first. She, um, I think she's so stuck on keeping a, a great stance, which she does. And I I was fault on. I, I, I thought a little too much of her perfect stance. That that sounds kind of silly, but what do I mean by keep thinking too much of a perfect stance? She's hard to score on with her stance. She kind of is very lucid. I don't want to say she's she she doesn't disappear though. Like she's got that great stance. She's able to block with her hands. Those of you listening on audio, I don't you probably you're not gonna be able to know what I'm talking about, but block with those forearms, that quote unquote Muay Thai stance, that Brazilian style Muay Thai stance. And uh it's really tough to score on when you're somebody like that. That being said, she doesn't open up a lot. So she kind of waits for things to come her way before she can engage, whether it be with the striking to get her or her strong clinch work. So she's going to have to be first in this fight. So activate that jab, activate that head movement against a good boxer for sure. When you're coming in, you need to work, move those head with those feet on the way in, give her something to hit, activate level changes. What do I mean by that? Level changes are kind of a squat, a fake shot, stuff like that. She's going to have to activate that jab, those one twos. I obviously faints are always good. I don't think that she's going to win the faint game with P um, Penny. We're going to get into that when we go over Penny's game plan. But that's what you got to do. Be first to get into the clinch and get her against the fence and try to score there with knees and beat up the body against the fence. That's going to be huge. Beat up that body until you can get that body lock to a throw or a trip or something along those lines. So if I'm Ketlin, you know, just be first working my way in, controlling the octagon, try to uh, box in the stronger boxer to, to they're painted up against the wall and work those jabs and one, two, one, two, move that head, one, two, work that underhook, work the body. Don't that's the other thing is, uh, uh, Kanza is, uh, she's so good, she's pretty good at cage defense when it comes to single legs. Look at her fight with Landsberg, fantastic cage defense. So that's why she can't rush to the body locks here. She really needs to use that MMA game and beat up that body, Ketlin does, before she goes into. The, the throws and the takedowns to win this fight that way just smothering you know dominate the clock so let's flip it penny kanza how does she win uh she has an excellent faint from what i've seen excellent faint that's going to slow down the already slower fighter in ketlin viera um so she's gonna have to use that and just really just keep those angles use her speed against the stronger slower fighter and just work that boxing now what I mean by work that boxing, she has an excellent uh, feint to a jab. Excellent. So constantly do something before and after the feint, as I've said before in here. Um, really watch her feint. She really has a great feint. She's going to be able to do that, or she's going to be able to feint to throw the straight right hand 2-3. She even has a great 3-2 when the fighters are coming in. So that could come later, though, for counter offense. But on top of that, after the feint, really work the bigger opponent's body. Bop, bop, dig, dig, dig. You know, work that feint. Once you establish a punch up top, come back down to the body and don't get greedy. Just add your combinations, finish your exchanges, and keep winning that way. Point up this opponent. If the finish comes, let it come later in the fight. 
That's how Penny's going to win this fight. Create those angles, work that feint to connect to the punches, and then work that body. Combinations, boxing combinations up and down the body. Not that she does, but don't give her anything to kick because don't um, don't don't kick uh, Kevlin to give her anything to score off of. So adjustments. If uh, Kevlin is losing this fight, she's clearly getting boxed up. There's no question about that. So she needs to keep moving that head instead of rushing forward where she's probably getting caught with three twos. Um, she's going to have to shoot underneath, you know, try to work that stab jab to the body to put the boxer on her heels and then try to get uh, Penny to throw some punches to clinch it underneath. She's, she's going to have to use counter offense to work that clinch there instead, because if she's going to be dragged into that deep water of a great boxing match of a strict boxing match with um, can Penny cans at, it's going to be a long night. So she, that's something she's going to really need to focus on is uh, just center, centering her feet, try to cut off the cage a little bit regardless of adjustments or primary game plan, and just try to stop the opponent with stab jabs to the body, put her on her heels, get her to throw stuff so she can clinch underneath and get to her game plan that way. So now if uh, Penny's losing this fight, uh, she's getting dominated against the clock, clear and plain and simple. We already spoke about activating that feint. We already spoke about um, uh, using her footwork. So her best way to adjust in this fight would probably be, I said, stay away from those kicks, maybe adding some front kicks into that game to stop the opponent from steaming forward. The difference between adding front kicks, those aren't very dangerous as far as uh, being susceptible to grabbing for a takedown than the side leg kicks and stuff like that. So add that front kicks and then add your boxing combinations after, add your boxing combinations after. Or if you're getting dominated because Ketlin's getting in on you, that's where you activate that 3-2 that she's so good at, that hook, hook right hand, hook right hand, hook, stuff like that, hook right hand, uppercut, things like that. So now you go from offensive boxing to counteroffensive boxing and adding that front kick. Going to be a great fight. Really looking forward to the night. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. I always forget that. I'll talk to you guys.